Welcome to EMT Talks, a web series that takes you inside the world's leading entertainment, media, and technology companies. With each episode, we'll introduce you to key players and pose pertinent questions about the future direction of the industries. My name is John Vermeer, an MBA student at New York University Stern School of Business. I'll be your host. Our question today is simple. As more and more television content is consumed online, cable subscriptions are flat for the first time in the history of the industry and piracy remains a constant threat. Is TV dying? To answer this question, we begin in Midtown Manhattan with a cable channel that continues to push boundaries with their offbeat original programming, IFC. Is TV dying? Um, TV depends on your definition of television. So the definition of television that I grew up with, which is this big hearth that everyone sat around simultaneously and shared thoughts and experiences and, and had a common, um, a common uh, experience or, or understanding, that's dead. That's never coming back. Um, all the choice and all the control that has give, gone to the consumer has turned it into a completely different asymmetrical experience. There's an even larger uh, appetite amongst Con, uh, uh, corporations and, and new businesses for buying content. Mm -hmm. So Google creates a hundred channels with a hundred million dollars. Uh, Amazon enters the subscription uh, uh, business with Prime. Mm -hmm. Hulu enters the subscription business with uh, Plus. Netflix is in, the, in this business. And when TV Everywhere becomes the norm, and TV Everywhere is the authentication of content using your cable subscription on any device in the home, but eventually it will become outside the home as well. As that happens, there's going to be so much more revenue driven into the television programming business that you're going to see uh, uh, more television made, if you can imagine that, mm -hmm. and probably much even, even bolder choices that are being made today. Because at that point, mass as a television idea will become less and less important. You'll still have the Super Bowl, you'll still have things like debates, you'll still have things like American Idol, but those will be the exceptions. The rule will be very targeted programming for smaller, more targeted audiences. And as a result, I think you're gonna have a, a much more satisfied consumer base sure. and a much more vibrant um, programming community. I think the best work in television history is being done right now. And I would argue that the best, most creative, boldest art making that's being done on Earth is being done in cable television right now. And that's because there's more support. There are more resources there than there is in, in any other uh, uh, industry. working on this whole premise that TV, traditional TV, and watching it linearly via a television box is dying. Would you agree or disagree with that and why? I would agree because it's cheaper to watch it on the internet if you can. When I watch television on the internet, I feel like it's the same thing. It's television. It's just on the internet. Uh, I would say for like news and stuff like that, it's not dying, but for TV shows and stuff, when you have like Netflix and Hulu, probably. Let's add another layer to this conversation. We stop by the NYU Stern School of Business to speak with the Executive Director of the Entertainment, Media, and Technology Program, Professor Al Lieberman. Hey, John, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Come on in. Great, thank you. Television is clearly alive, and we have a couple of multiple uh, C's. Every professor has to have an infrastructure, so we talk about content, we talk about convergence, we talk about consumption, but the most important C is convenience. And people today do not want to wait until they get home from work. They have an opportunity to watch television, certainly on the iPad, um, for years on the iPod, uh, nano, uh, smartphones, uh, any kind of screen that can show you full color. And as a matter of fact, at a recent show, called the Consumer Electronics Show, we were watching 3D television on a smartphone. How about a fold-up screen? Yeah, yeah, they have something right now, which is a plastic uh, that you can roll up, you can put in your pocket, your briefcase, unroll it, and then watch television. Sure. So I think we have a lot to look forward to.
So is TV dying? Well, according to today's guests, TV as a box may be dead, but television as a medium is just coming into its prime. If you like what you saw today, comment below and be sure to come back for future episodes of EMT Talks. I'm John Vermeer. Thanks for watching.